Well, Wes, could you talk about the prospects for uh, Dante Trader? Uh, oh, this guy is, uh, this guy's like got a photographic memory, man. I mean, he is, he's on point. He's doing, he does everything he's supposed to do on and off the field. He makes phenomenal grades off the field. Um, he's going to ask the right questions when he has a question. Um, you know, and I really don't think he has many questions, but I'm going to make him ask me a question. You know, this guy, uh, he's got great leadership qualities. Um, he's got great movements. He's fast. He's physical. He's willing to uh, do the extra. I feel like he's got great leadership skills. Um, and I think it's he's it's about time for him to flourish, and I think he's ready ready for you. Wayne and myself are big lacrosse guys. Are you aware of his lacrosse history? I had heard. You know, I don't know much about lacrosse. He's something. But he's I, something I heard else. he was special, a special lacrosse player. You know, I, you know, and I know our lacrosse team is really, really good here. I'm just glad he's <laughs> in my room. Yeah, that's good so, to hear. So contrast uh, being in Boca with being every place else. You were with FAU. Did you get out much much in the Boca Raton area? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I was lucky to live like a mile from campus, and you know there were very few days that I wore pants. When it and when it got 65, we, we were wearing pants, and you'd see people out there wearing fur coats, and I was like, it's 65 degrees. Why is everybody wearing fur coats yeah. out here? Like that was golden bell. But uh, you know, no, I thought it was it was a great place to live, and there, you know, it was a different culture than where I was. You know where I was from. It was more of a, there's a melting pot of, of diverse people, but it was it ended up being like a great place. To great live. football stadium. I went to the bowl down there this year. Yeah. It, it you was. Know, they had done a really good job. You know of the, the, the stadium. Schnellenberger obviously started the program and everything. And I, I don't even know where they started out playing. Like I couldn't tell you what what stadium it was, but that stadium, you know, it really is a very nice stadium. It's very well done. It's very well kept. And then they they created uh, the new facility that is right next door to it. I think it's one of the best in in the conference. You know, they were in conference USA or still are, but about to be in the American. I mean, it it really is a good place. You ever play golf down there at Osprey Point? You know, I am. I think I got two torn labrums. You know, so, that's that. And my golf. Let me tell you my golf story. All right, so <laughs> we would uh, growing up like we were big. We played baseball. My grandparents played tennis or whatever. And my dad was like, you know, we need to we need to get them into golf. You know, because we live near a golf course. So we took some golf lessons. And after like the third or fourth lesson, my dad goes over to uh, the golf pro and he goes, you know, what do you think about? Uh, my kids, you know, think how they do it. He goes, you want me to be honest with you? And my dad's like, yeah, of course. He goes, I think they need to take about two or three weeks off and quit. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of how that went with golf. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us. The big dogs from the small firm. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dog. What's the kind of excitement like for you coming into a program with as much momentum as it has right now? Oh, I mean, it's like, I, there's a lot of excitement in there. You know, it's not just the moment. That momentum, you know, from the past season is going in there each day when these guys are working and seeing the attitude that they have. I mean, seeing the, you know, just the blink, the twinkle in their eyes, like the hunger that these guys have. They're ready to you know, They see it. They, they can they can feel it, they taste it a little bit of that victory and they want more, you know, so that's what excites me about today and, and these next 30 days is the fact, or however long these 15 practices is the fact that these guys are willing to do whatever it takes to get to that next step, you know, so that that's what I like to see. Kind of from the outside, like before you got here, what was it kind of, how did you view Maryland's program, program? you know, obviously you knew lots of things here, you know, well, but, um, how has kind of your your perception changed since you've been here? 
what they're going to do. Yeah, I, I knew that he would. He was revamping and was able to, to rebuild a culture and rebuild a team. And then you know there was there were really good players and there were good coaches here. You know, I, when I got here and I saw that Jones Hill House, I was like, oh. I guess this place it is a game changer, man. Like it is a game changer. And then you, it's not just you know the infrastructure and everything around. You know the, the campus is beautiful. That the DMV area, just the power that's here, right? Um, it wasn't just that; it was the people in there that were working in that building, and you, you see like their hearts and where they are. They want to be just. They want the players to succeed. They want to succeed themselves, as, as we all do. But they want to see these players succeed. You know, and they're, we are all, I say we now because I'm a part of it, we all will do whatever it takes to get them to have that success because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, right?